stream is not just because uh, I think you guys will. Okay, hello anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with Jackir! And welcome to take two of uh, Let's Stream Darksiders, the War Mastered Edition. And yeah, two days ago we tried to stream this and the intro went well, but then after that things started collapsing in on itself with the cutscenes for some reason. And yeah, since we stream for story instead of challenge, uh, those chance is appreciated. Uh, yeah, if, if the cutscenes were going to freeze on us, then uh, yeah, I, let's just say that all of the Windows bullshit with a recently failed uh, update pissed me off to the point that I just cut off the stream and extra problems after that killed off any chance of, well, a follow-up stream or a replacement stream. I did. Yeah. I did identify the source of that problem, though. The... Uh, yeah, it was that Windows had changed my default input you know, or default output device to my earbuds instead of the voice instead of the audio program that I used to split off the Discord sound and the sound to this. So, yeah. It, it it hasn't done that now, luckily. But yeah, that might be a problem again in the future that I'll just have to keep an eye on whenever I start up the computer. Yeah, it's true thought. Don't be shaking if this sound is on for a long time. We were you were mute for twenty minutes as well. Yeah, that also was a big factor in why I just why we're ta doing a take two like, over here. Yeah, here's also when asking to double shake working now. Yeah, I'm going to need to hang up some stickers on the ledge here. Because I have to, I have a desk with an overhead area here. Where I can set up some stuff like, well, Legos. <laughs> okay, there. For some reason I am getting an occasional audio gap still though. I haven't been ident I haven't been able to identify the source of that. Because yeah, it's it does it varies and when it appears and it's only like a second or two that it doesn't. I, I, for some reason, I think I have a hair in my mouth for some reason here. <laughs> <laughs> a 
kind of fitting, since, well, we have a, a friend of the family over who is a barber. And, yeah, like, a few times a year they show up to do our hair and such. But that's also why the stream is, has been delayed by 45 minutes. And, well, let's not delay it for too much more. <laughs> yeah, I just hope everything is uh, working. Actually, no, that, that was the wrong button. <laughs> that was continue instead of new game. Okay, well, that's at least a much uh, smaller error than we had before. Yep. New game, yes, we will get rid of that. We are going for easy because we go for story. And, yes, yeah, and... even on easy, the enemies are just absolute punching bags. Yeah, this is easy with sarcasm. Yeah, and because there's an intro... Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood, known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The great pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Yeah, <laughs> this place is fucked. 
And finally, yeah. I did get it to work with the freaking controller. Because for some reason, this game won't allow you to switch between controller and keyboards. At least it won't let you switch between in yeah in game. It seems to be running well. If things yeah. mean, if things mess up with this again, I do have a backup ready. Though by the time we we get a full screen with that, it'd be pretty late. I just like it. I the environment and I see some curious poster. And time board. Okay. Uh, we, we've seen this before, so let's go in through it a bit fast. And yeah, that's uh, that we play as War, one of the four horsemen. And this is War's chaos form. Which is just a fucking bell rock. <laughs> and yes, war looks like if Link got into heavy metal and uh, gained like 50 pounds of uh, 500 pounds of muscle. <laughs> oh god, here's Wonder. The friend who was playing it uh, as my dorm room, he actually compared uh, war to Link. <laughs> what the? Just a very mobile wheel. <laughs> okay, now I see some demons were trying to pull the, the golem down. And yeah, we are stuck in between a fight between heaven and hell, and they both hate us. So uh, yeah, it's a three way battle between heaven, hell, and war. So yeah, war is going to war with them both. All in all. Okay. Okay. Hey, Paul, what was this that was supposed to be? What is happening? Yeah, that's, uh... Looks like a movie, yeah. Oop. <laughs> random, random debris flying at us because the golem is just stomping around. Eaten too, eaten again. Oh, the thunder poster. Next to what were they even actually? Are they? Okay, they're <laughs> <they're laughs> <super hot laughs> shooting at us. <laughs> A very brave but also very foolish cop. There he is. <laughs> well, there goes his bravery. Okay, okay a four-way war, if you can even call it a war, because they, even the angels are attacking the humans. Fucking pricks. Okay. Huh? You're mine. And just split into end. Okay, yeah, th th this game has a bit of God of War inspiration in it as well. But then again, which of these uh, third-person brawler type games didn't have some God of War in them? Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. Yeah, like I said, we're going e we're going on easy because the enemies, even at this stage, are quite are, can be quite the yeah the punching bags, and we don't actually need to fight all of these, so we can just fuck off and continue. And yeah, this is obvious. We can climb this stuff as much as we probably never want to touch this without these big ass metal gloves or whatever. And Bye-bye. Oh. 
Yeah, man, that, that, it is pretty cool that you, you can see the two sides just feuding between themselves, and that is quite the draw. And yeah, War may seem humanoid, but he is far from it, seeing as like he has to be at least three meters tall or something. Well, more, more two at the least. He's a little or two taller than that guy. For the whole run? And what do you mean, Frog? From the children's shoulder. Yeah. You could put you could put like three people next to each other. Okay, now we are forced to fight, and uh, hello there. Welcome. Wait, I'm pretty sure he didn't tell us that on the previous attempt to string this game that that we have the ability to dodge. I'm, at least I. He did it until quite a bit later than this, or well, unless I completely missed that the first time. I think we just meant to use the dash of block. Put out the mini. Okay, off with his head. Now, there is a bit of usefulness for these executions, like for one, it gives you a moment of uh, invulnerability as you perform it. But you also get more resources out of an enemy if you pull that off, I think. But yeah, we'll, we'll have resources be a thing later, because this is our prologue. Yeah, big as demons that we're going to have to deal with. Yep. And of course, this flimsy metal like that can't really hold this guy down. Okay. There we go. Let's hope this plays with its parking problem by parking these in their faces. <laughs> uh, the Solomon stuff isn't absolutely necessary for combat, but of course it is useful to just pester your enemies from a distance. And that's that it seems. Okay. Yeah, I have played through this game before from start to finish, or at least through the original version. Not broken! Abaddon! 
What in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. Something is up, and welcome to the first boss of the game. Yeah, we'll be facing a lot of big bosses in this. Uh, yeah, left trigger will focus. And yeah, we we just learned how to throw shit, so uh, let's throw this guy at car bar, <laughs> a carpool party. Ben, you did go. We have to that thing. And uh, yeah, for this attack, it's. For his attacks, it's pretty simple. Just move sideways, throw his back at his face, and then do his then, then just do his dental work for him because he obviously needs it. Excuse me, your is a tactic. Make me It is where you usually end up attacking big enemies like this, just to face. For those attacks, these, just move to the side and dodge. Just don't get, don't corner yourself against the side of the buildings. Turn to center. And uh, yeah, we saw an archangel getting squished like a freaking pigeon. You know what? Cool. Yeah, your typical shockwave attack is dodge to the side. And that attack is just really cool because he's more annoyed than anything else, I think. Because, well, we are pretty... This guy is halfway submerged into the freaking lava. Okay, dodge the initial shockwave by jumping, and then again when he does that. And just, just the fact that the camera has to zoom this far out to fit him into the screen. I'm going to guess that this will be about it. Not yet. Uh, I missed. And missed the opportunity. Yeah, you'll have to figure out dodging quite well in this game. And even more so in the sequel. Which we'll get to after we're done with this game and another, just so we're not doing just uh, one game, two game, yep. Horseman, you forget the law! 
No call was given, yet the destroyer marched, and there you were found, under his black banner, if the claims are true. To hell with your claims! The seals were broken! I was summoned! Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The seven seals are hidden, as they have been since the pact was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. You made the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me! Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. But you will be watched. Come forth. So yeah, some things that I missed out er, in my previous playthrough of this is that in the cutscene you can actually see Ward drop his sword and it, it falls into the lava that the demon is sitting in. Oh yeah, I missed that. Yeah. And yeah, here we get it back. And yeah, apparently they just have a recall button for this thing, where they have extras lying around. <laughs> uh, yeah, something I, o I also missed during previous plays, well, I only played through this game once, is that the council doesn't say that they were responsible for taking away war strengths. So, who or what did? He he was losing power whenever that horn sounded. Yeah. Hmm. And yeah, we have our weapon and we have our first active power. Da -da, mapping consumables and rust, select the rust power item, did it us basic quick select stuff. We put that to that, to the X button. And there we go. Gotta say, I I do love the design of the of this game because uh, yeah, when you look at these three, it just screams the heavy metal. The dead will be your currency. Yeah. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. And yeah, that's the currency that we'll be dealing with. And yeah, we've already we've already done a metal game before, <laughs> haven't we? Yeah, yeah we have. Yeah, Jack Black. <laughs> but it was basically Jack Black, the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Souls manifest in three forms. Currency, house, and rods. Each of them color coded. Seek the demon Fulgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. And yeah, that is <laughs> well-known Mark Hamill, aka the voice of the Joker. And he's going to be our Figurative monkey on our back. The council ordered you to seek out Vulgrim. So start seeking. And yeah, you'll have commentary for different stages of our quest, like that, when we summon him. And yeah, things have uh, changed a bit in our absence. And it's still changing. <laughs> yeah. Go. Here comes the welcome party. yourself and yeah this is what is left of a good amount of humanity yeah your box centered zombies yeah the, even these little pissants take a full combo to kill so that should tell you of how annoying it can be to play this game on higher difficulties Yeah, and some of them think even more of zombies. Considering, well, red brain, red eyes, and a red hole in the chest. And what the heck is that? What yeah, is that? Like, yeah, hell suicide bomber. But yeah. We don't have to fight most of them, though. Gauntlet glow. Ooh, wars gauntlet glows near interactive objects such as chests or doors. Press B to activate them. Yeah, yeah. We aren't forced to fight every little thing and. Round 4 parking and zombies. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have to fight every enemy, but it does give, well, currency. Oh, big boy. Uh, not a system I want to lock on. So I can just keep smacking this jackass around. And yeah, of course, if not that, this one. 
Nope, nope. No, we wouldn't <laughs> laughing at us now, huh? We'll see who's laughing by the end of this. And yeah, that's what this first power does. It does take up one full bar of Rast, which you can see underneath the health. Not really sure about how much damage it does, but it does help against crowds like that. Okay, now let's deal with you now that the peanut gallery is gone. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I thought that was for an execution, but no, that was for the health station. Uh. Well, yeah, th these these guys are pretty much useless to us as fodder. Third dragon objects, basic adventure game stuff. And these guys can't even hit us as we're moving. Okay. Good, just keep moving. What the heck are those paintings? I don't think they were there originally. I'm, I missed them then. Now, come on. Well, I guess I'll get a chance to miss them again. Okay, let's go. 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 let us yeah, I don't think many demons have had a interest in redecorating the place. So I guess they might have been here originally either way. Okay, just avoid the father. But a uh, yeah, things have changed a bit in the quote-unquote short time that we've been away. And now we are forced into a fight. So yeah, whenever there, whenever a fighting isn't needed, I'll probably try to run past it unless I get like swarmed. Yeah. Generally. I'll be trying to sort of speed run the game by avoiding unnecessary combat. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't have a on I don't have an FPS reader running at the moment, possibly because I disabled the Steam overlay. And hello, big boy. But I I think I think the game is actually running better on the stream than it is for me. I'm noticing a few stutters, I think. Also, I, it was explained... It was... Yeah. A hint earlier told that you can... Uh, hold the attack button to uppercut an enemy into the air, but obviously this guy's too thick for that to work on. And we get punished for it instead. But yeah, aerial combat is useful because it will leave us out of range of most enemies. Okay. No. Too early. Yep. Too late. <laughs> yeah, it will get easier to kill enemies as we continue on. Try and tell me that God of War didn't have a hand in that. <laughs> uh, let's continue. No way back. Not that we'd want to go back.
Yeah, I... Maybe it is just me, but it does look like the game is running better on OBS than it is for me, for some odd reason. I think so that's well on my end, but not too bad. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then, the Third Kingdom is lost. I almost didn't hear you coming. Vogrum. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. Yeah, this is Voldgren. He will be our merchant for the game. And yeah, he's certainly a type. <laughs> And we get the Word Seeker, which is basically a compass. Yeah. Now we can check out our map here, and the Word Seeker will allow us to see chests and such on the map. And as you can see, there's five around here. There's one on top of there, which I'm pretty sure we can't reach until quite a bit later. And I see some sort of orb floating over there. Hmm. I don't recall anything about that. Uh, yeah. Then let's go find those chests and feed this fucker. But yeah, that is a good line. Also, the, I opened up IMDB here. And oh, hello, big boy. Holgren is voiced by Phil Lamar. Oh, okay, that's... <laughs> Apparently, he also did the voice of Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah. That's not the one I would have expected. Or at least according to IMDB over here. Let us know if you can really need a very good voice back for that. Yeah. That's where um, yeah, can keep the voice. Let's see. War is voiced by Liam O'Brien, and that's that's is a yeah, that's a name that sounds familiar to me. Okay, we have a blocked off path here as well. So I'm pretty sure we ran into we ran into the same thing over that way. The all star reminds me of early Warcraft 3. But also from, uh, as we go, as we talk about heavy metal, 
Okay. They're getting they're going to make Stonecrow Hammerfall cover off. It's the same thing that they're early Warcraft 3 are. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Stonecrow Hammerfall settlement appears in Warcraft 3 as an item, an itemized, and even appears in the uh, world of Warcraft. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they are going to make Stonecrow Hammerfall cover off. It's the same thing that they're early Warcraft 3 are. <laughs> okay. That's certainly something I didn't know. And here we go an artifact. These ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell uh, of Astrovis for the carnage of the end days. Return it to Volgram and he will reward you. Yeah, basically a bit of an item hunt. Not a required one. This will just give us, uh, yeah, will just give us souls in exchange for them, I think. We will still have to find for another 225 to fill his stomach. Nothing. But I have to say, I would not be surprised if it's the same artist or someone inspired by that guy's art. Could be. Now let's see, Liam O'Brien. Any trademarks? A distinctive husky voice, okay. I was more looking for the trademark voice, the characters he voiced. And new enemy type. And yeah, now it tells about blocking and stuff. I think later on we can learn how to parry. And there we go. He's not even half the man he used to be. Or he wasn't a man in the first place. <laughs> okay. Oh, I heard something phasing in behind us. Let's see. Oh! Uh, okay. War, War here is voiced by the same voice actor who does Asura from Asura's Wrath. Which is kind of fitting. I don't think you can get the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said before, I think if you pull off an execution on an enemy like that, is you get extra resources. Uh, not confirmed though. It could just be a, it could just be that it's just for the flashiness. And really, are we going to explain about fla complain about you know, flashy kills? <laughs> nope, wrong dodge. And it will become extra terrifying if you will get some extra reward from it. One and the two and the three and and cut scene. Okay. Seventy-five Wait. more. Now I realize the pun you made. <laughs> okay, this one's just a, a health chest. But here's a one, a souls one. Of course, these are as color coded as the souls themselves. And yeah, technically, we didn't need to find fight any of those enemies. In. Hello. Souls to feed Volgrim's hunger. Now, maybe he'll feed our curiosity. Hmm. I'm like full of you. Yes. Hmm, apparently, Liam also voiced. I would not need. These ancient gates have a mind of their own, but with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out, when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while.
Okay, so the cutscenes are working now. Again, last time for some reason, they, those cutscenes froze up. And yeah, we're playing, as like we've said multiple times now, we play this for story, not for challenge. So yeah, it doesn't really work if the story is going to freeze up. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. The Earth Caller, a masterfully carved horn whose call awakens ancient gates. Press right trigger to activate the horn when equipped. Some creatures can be knocked back by the Earth Caller's deafening blast. So yeah, now we have an equipable uh, item. Like it says, the first gear item. The term mapping gears. Select the desired gear item, map to slot, and then the control the, the control path. So you se yeah, select it. Uh, I should, of course, assign it. And yeah, now we can use this thing. And let's find ourselves a little test subject. Yeah, it's our knockback item. But we can also do this. Still breathes. Mm. The destroyer, yes. To his service we are bound, though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friend. Perhaps now, friend. Most bring victory. Most bring freedom. Yeah. Oh, come on. Was that <laughs> I can't wait to find out what's behind it. And yeah, those stone golems are going to be it's a big freaking crow. Those golems are going to be uh, roadblocks for us to deal with from time to time. Yep. But with the horn, we should be able to just deal, deal with them. Yep. And also, I kind of like that, that they're all more faction. They're just demon angels and the uh, horsemen. Like, those golems are not demons. They're just being yeah. enslaved by demons. Yeah, this, yeah, they're elementals, I'd say, more. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, as I was going to say, I I'm um, the B here. I saw uh, that Liam also did a voice in a near game, like near Automata, but not actually uh, the Automata game, but more the recently released mobile game. It seems. Oh. Yeah. And also, apparently, Stephen Strange in some of the Marvel's game and the uh, cartoon. Adaptations. Yeah. And yeah, no need to fight, so we can just move on. Wait. As much as that jackass laughs at us. Wait. Or would you rather have me spend like 45 minutes trying to fight off all the enemies? And yeah, here's our heart stones. Our pieces of hearts. I was thinking heart stone, probably because we were <laughs> you were talking about Warcraft earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a typical I, stuff, I get four, get more health. Hey, I used to be a Warcraft fan, then... I mean, my respect for it still, but it's... Yeah, for most of the people I have heard of the recent years, uh, recent over the years, it's not really the same anymore. I mean, yeah, I've uh, never really kept 
kept in touch with uh, Warcraft after Warcraft 3, which is also where I was introduced to this series in the first place. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're... Yeah. yeah, it's been pretty decent, pretty decently in the news recently that... Uh, yeah, a lot of people are sick of Blizzard for multiple reasons, and people are moving from the Warcraft, World of Warcraft to other games like Final Fantasy XIV, because they've just been screwing their fans over for so long that they're just freaking sick of it. Yep, and uh, not really in handling their own games well. Yeah, I, I heard that they did a Diablo 2 remaster recently. And that they fucked that up the same way as they did with the Warcraft 3 remaster. Yeah, what the world I actually mean. It's like the best thing. Maybe the Oh the characters are ugly and all that. I'm not confused, okay, like that's not the camera stuff. That looks like a guy. Yeah, one of the big signs that the game has lost touch with its actual uh, origin. Yep. And we're going to call it Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things even you should fear, horseman. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Samael's dog approaching. Yep, another boss. Yeah, the I think this guy you... counts more as a mini boss. I guess you know the lead to some uh Okay. And I, I guess this guy's name also tells us what those uh, blue skin demons are called, phantoms. I will take your head to my side. Blue skin for demon. Yep. Okay. Okay, we are losing quite a bit of health here, so let's see if we can get some back from these guys. Want any health? No health. But we do get some brass to use in their powers. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Queen of Hearts. Oh, that was me accidentally using the healing item that we had. And we don't have enough Ross to use the power. Ow. Okay, we need to stay mobile, but... Or actually... No, we can't blow him away. Shut up. Are you just going to be a blocking pest until I deal with these jackasses? I'm guessing that's a yes. He's a bomb block pest. No, no, we have to get all the friends then. Come on, I'm just just short of being able to use the power again. Nope. Stop blocking you little. Just one 
Yeah. Interrupted his text there. I'm going to continue it. No, he's not. I'm guessing he was probably <laughs> going to complain about the decor being not bloody enough. Are you here to play executioner? They should have sent all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. Ah, the destroyer is beyond your reach, beyond mine. Has prison made you a coward? There is a way, but you will need to get inside the Destroyer's Spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. Yeah, that's Samuel. One of the uh, former big dogs <laughs> in hell. And now we have Shadow Flight. These, are natural, yeah, these supernatural wings enable war to temporarily glide. After a double jump, hold A to activate Shadow Flight and glide. Glide inside Shadow Currents to soar high into the sky. Yeah. I recall that there is something with those things. Those, uh, Sort of dream catcher like things. Hmm. Either way, we have what we need to continue on. And we have an objective. Kill all four guardians. Bring their hearts to Samuel. Samuel. I'm going to mess up this <laughs> his name continuously, aren't I? Yeah, you already said it, said it 16 times. Uh, no, okay, some dice little shit. Okay. Good. Again, there is no real reason to fight all of these. We would get currency and experience because our weapons can oh, our weapons can get upgraded by they're using them. And hello, those are very shiny. Yeah. And again, we're not trying to get bogged down by fighting everything. Yeah. Even though fighting everything would make fighting all the stuff after easier to kill, which would shorten that time, but still. Yeah, so we shouldn't ignore every damn fight. We should try everything, try to upgrade the weapon Yeah. Oh, one of those things again. Fine, but... We can scare them off by attacking, but I think they will just come out again. There's a lot of forgot about this game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, a bit odd to find something like that here. Yep, well, thanks so much for getting souls out of that one. Nope. Never mind, I got the souls anyways. For you? Off with the head. Decapitation! Yes. Yeah, so Brutal Legend is a big, is a fun game. Yeah, and that was my fourth attempt to sound like Jack Black. 
Again. Two out of ten. Oh, come on. There was a death spell you had to throw yourself in the lava. Not on purpose. Sure. Okay. The choking grounds. The choking grounds. Oh. Um. Yeah, and new area means new enemies. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, and these things we can kill quite easily, actually. So this will be a lot easier if most of the enemies are going to be those bats. And then we have this thing again. Oh wait, that's why. Volgrim location. New Volgrim location has been added to the Chronicle. Yeah, he decorates the area around where he is with these things. Samaya has returned you in one piece. He must like you. On your journey, you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. And yeah, like I said, Volgrim is going to be our merchant. Though as you can see, his stuff is pricey. But we can trade in our artifact to get 500. So yeah, we'll... Got something new for you. Shut up. So yeah, we'll definitely want to find those artifacts when we can. And yeah, we can buy new moves from him, as well as new weapons. The Harvester. Death slayers in every side, devastates multiple enemies with large sweeping attacks. The Harvester also reaps more souls from fallen enemies. Okay, so that one would be useful the site well, or normal site the site's massive curse bl blade performs large sweeping attacks that devastate more things so basically an aoe weapon and over here we could upgrade our wrath powers take your time. uh no no okay yeah now we can i find something we can upgrade with we, we don't have much harpoon tackle nice Let's go for that one, since we'll take we we'll want to take enemies up into the sky a lot, and these are just uh, yeah these are passives. Which weapons master more damage, generate wrath, and yeah, these are our oh, energy bar. These these wrath shards and cores is what we use to get more wrath, uh, well bars. Uh, rage, greater rage. Oh, oh these thing. are use. These are items. Okay, I'm dying. Upon receiving a fatal strike, wars health. Okay. Empty vessels can be built. Okay, but they seem to be oh, more pricey. Man. Hmm. Okay. These would probably be useful, like the, the fairies in Zelda. And yes, we'll be making a lot of comparisons to that. Because, like I said, this game is basically a... Uh, nope. Heavy Metal uh, Legend of Zelda. And speaking of metal... Nope. Nope. It came out a lot faster than I expected. Give us up on really hitting the two skeletons! Yep, <laughs> I killed him too quick to finish him off. Okay, I'll finish you then. <laughs> I'm just plain smashing. Okay. Now let's see. Seeking the high ground might be tough <laughs> for a muck dweller like you. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> and you can insert your own Star Wars references there yourself. What? 
high ground. Oh, that part. I was thinking, what for the soul of buildings use the term Nerf Dweller? Well, they yeah. did use the term Nerf Dweller. It's... Has, has no one ever explained what the heck the Nerf is that went over there? I have come for the Destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the Shadow Realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. Yes. Find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. They can't be that hard to find. Yeah, if memory serves... This will be something we'll be doing from time to time to get these gates out of their way. Because, yeah, of course they're going to wise up to us uh, waking them up. As for nerves, I think they are some sort of uh, cattle creature in Star Wars. Well, that must be obvious. Alright, these are challenges, I think. And then, yeah, that's one of the that's one of the jackasses that we have to kill, if I remember correctly. We're going to hear a lot of remember, if I remember correctly, throughout this game. Speed brawl. For the enemies within time. Well. So yeah, this is what we'll be doing for the next three minutes ish. Luckily, we, luckily they are just dancing up, literally, and will information. And here we go, chaos either level up. Yeah, if you get enough kills with a weapon, well, it'll level up and give you more power with it. Okay, almost halfway. I'm so happy. Oh, wow, they're not you. Yeah. I'm are they actually avoiding me, perhaps? But yeah, once we've dealt with all the zombies, they are going to throw actual threats at us. Yep. Even if those threats are like a third of their former selves after we're done with them. So we can just finish them off with one hit once they okay, come on. Once they are at that, so we hmm. we have to double check to see if it does give us extra health. And okay, that that looked to be about the same as with this. Yeah. I, okay. So it is mostly for the flashiness. <laughs> Or a big, 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 big. Okay, one more. 
I can hear stuff moving around somewhere. Okay, let's finish this. There we go. And now we're gonna go deal with you. Uh. Oh, he looks nervous. This was entertaining. Can we do it again? Uh. It could have been much worse. Okay, that's pretty useless to us. But that is useful. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be finding challenges like that from time to time that we can do. These first ones are required. But after that, they become optional. And yeah, there's three more that we need to find here. Luckily, they are marked on the map. And on the mini map, which my face is hiding, where you can still see the top side. As it is, the could be useful for the extra souls and all, just for the extra upgrades. Yeah, these at least won't give souls except for healing and such. But later, one, later ones could be useful if we don't get stuck on them, because some of them can be pretty freaking tricky, and really, you can't jump over that. It was a normal one. You'd think the embodiment of war would be able to get over a, <laughs> a, a wall like that. Okay, what challenge is this? No corpses where it was this time. I'm you. Yeah, we need no ring to get the attention of this thing. Venomous, kill 50 enemies. Okay. So, kill in a time limit. Again, only this time our time limit is our health. are weaker than the, the previous ones or the, the big we got a big ass damage boost with the chaos eater leveling up because now it's just carving through them i don't know anything about uh, specific percentages or such So I don't know if it like doubles health damage or something or 50% more. But we'll be getting more levels with our weapons either way. Come on. Has to attack me from the side of the screen. Okay, that's number 30, which will be the what will be the next 20. Are more of these guys. Okay, we'll just have to keep dodging their attacks. Don't attack from off screen, it is. So we do have these healing chests here. Seventeen to go. I'm, I'll save that chest until I get to half of this bar of health. I do like that it it smoothly transitions into these kills. Thirteen to go. That was for the chest. Luckily, that I didn't press the button. I mean, the thing that, that, the thing that made the lot of these things more about things play more through combat. Oh, 
here. We're going to need to work on our up our upgrades with this. Because this combo is going to get boring with time. Or we could probably get web yeah, different weapons and swap between. And now we've got the big fucker to deal with, so <laughs> heal up. Let's focus the small fries. Okay, we do have to be careful with our darts since there is, uh, yeah, a cool, a sort of cooldown on it. Now, will more of these spawn? No, we will have to kill the big. Oh, well, we don't have to kill the big boy. Okay. Oh, okay, that killed it in one hit. I guess that uh, shows how powerful that thing actually is then. I always knew you had it in you. Okay, that's number two gone. We fill everything. And yeah, we did get extra souls there. I'm not sure if that was with the previous one as well. We got it immediately. So yeah, we do get we do get prices for these ones as well. to definitely go try to go for is death sight because yeah it'll be a big it'll be a big investment in the amount of souls that we'll spend to get it but we'll also get more souls from getting from everything that we'll kill afterwards so it it should pay for itself with enough time to pass the gory end. Smaller or weaker enemies can be instantly killed at any time. Larger creatures must be stunned before they can be slain. Use B to instantly kill a smaller stunned creature. Okay, only the only <laughs> instant kill uh, counts. Okay. Well, that should be easy enough since we've been doing that basically non-stop. And yeah, these things we can just pluck out of the sky. Actually, I think we can just jump between these things. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> Welcome to Air Bats. Yeah, the in-game uh, and yeah, the in-flight movie might suck, but they uh, they go as fast as a bat out of hell. <laughs> So, yeah, let's try to save up for 5,000 souls so we can get the death, we can get death's sight. Uh, that'll take quite a bit of work to actually get that amount, and hello. Time for a return flight, are we? Okay, if you want tension that bad. Halfway. And it is nice that we also get souls from dust kills that we make. So we get an even <laughs> bigger bonus. Ooh, we definitely are. Press control, and there's the big one. Oh. 
Okay, we accidentally got into we accidentally dodged an attack there. I point. More to go. You five left. Nope. Big boy wants attention, but we're not going to give it to him unless absolutely needed. Oh, and now he has a friend. <laughs> oh. Speaking of, he can join his back in hell. Okay, you two will be the last. Ow. Okay. This guy will be the last and his new friend there. And done. Hello, you saw one wannabe. We didn't actually use any of our wrath there. One more to go. And that one's gone as well. I think other ones will be repeatable. But, yeah, if I recall correctly. <laughs> These first four, we just need to banish the progress. What will this fourth and last one be? Aerial Brawl. If beat five enemies using aerial combos within the time limit, bonus souls were regarded. Okay. Didn't be too hard. Okay. We can't pull executions in the air. Okay, one full combo and then launch them. And there we go. <laughs> Easy enough. And we're almost halfway. Halfway? Block counter. War's reflective instincts have been awakened, allowing him to counterattack physical and projectile threats. Now we can parry. Ooh. And we didn't take a, a single hit of damage there. Okay, that should banish the curse. Yep, so we can progress. Anything to say? Okay, I need uh, to stand still for this. Or... Okay, do what? Oh. Return to the gate. See if you can get that worthless pile of rubble to move! Uh, I should try seeing what he has to say at uh, most points. Okay, wake up.
Ravager. This enhancement increases war's damage with environmental weapon attacks. Okay. And weapon enhancements. Must be slotted into the weapon. Okay. Might as well take a look at that. Let's see. Chaos Eater. Info. War's legendary blade also stripped of its former strength and powers. And we can check which moves we have with it, which are pretty basic at the moment. Um, Wrath abilities, consumables, gear equipment, pass. Wait, where do we... Okay, the, this is all of the artifacts that we can find for Volgrim. Data auction? What is data about? Yeah, that's uh, save and load. Oh, all right. Okay, where do I put those in then? We have the raw abilities here. Oh, over here, prop. Yeah. There we go. We can only equip one at a time, though. Oh. And, yeah. Okay, I'm guessing the symbols at the top is the level that the weapon is at. So at, at the moment it's level one of four. Yeah. And I'm guessing the bar at the bottom is the experience progress. Let's see. Yep, and if so, there'll be a lot. It won't take too long until we get the upgrade again. Yeah. Okay, let's have a little look where he goes. And now <laughs> Chaos Eater glows purple because of our equipment on it. Where are you going, big boy? Warlocked. And he just uh, pops up into the background. Okay. Probably, uh, probably want to be young for a Warlocked. I don't know what the... Why I sort of have a grudge against Walmart for that kind of joke? Anyways, moving deeper into the Bath Queen's territory. I guess... I, th I think we'll be able to reach the dungeon by the end of this. Hopefully. Unless we can sound. more of a children. This is just more wings for us to pluck. Nope. Go. <laughs> Free experience. I don't know if the combo counter on the left side of the screen is of any use. And hello there, Infernal Ice. Yeah, we can't we can't melt that. So, like in any Zelda-ish game, we need something to break through that later. But now though, we can break through these quite easily. That one only gave one soul. Yeah. Oh, hello. More phantoms to fight. I do like it when you make doing those attacks, your blade can still hit our enemies. Oh dear. So if, if enough of them are close together, you can still get some extra hits off. Like, see, it hit that, guys. Wait, how did that guy hit me when I was in from the air? Okay, my 
controller shook there for some reason. Pretty heavily. I hope that wasn't audible on the mic. I have to. I was like, that guy said them controller shaking? Yeah. No. It's so this one there. I, okay, I still surprised. probably was not. It certainly is from my way. I think I saw the earlier. But uh, we saw a clip of a YouTuber, a VTuber, and I think you can hear her baby growl. Yeah, usually you'd think that's only something for anime and cartoons, but apparently it can actually happen in reality. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. We can just smack those things easily as well. Yeah, I had a moment where people could hear my baby growl, but that was kind of rare. And not been happening for those several years, but... Yeah, but... You're definitely a homie, or just can hear your baby. Especially for mine. Oh, hello. Okay, all of you just walking up. And get smashed. <laughs> like it, it should be fully expected that a being like War should be just able to instantly crush zombies like that. Get here, get fucked. And we have different variation of instant killing him. Don't you know that? Uh, is that a name for that kind of move? Not really, I do not. The earliest name I've seen. No, not the name. It's sort of like the Hulk smash. <laughs> the Hulk uh, screwing Loki over hard. Yeah, I was thinking of that as well. Hulk smash. Greetings. Okay, he, does, he gives no fucks about the horn. What? Okay. I think I remember a good amount of this area, and it can be kind annoying. So this should also be a place of reasonable importance. Now, I think that is where we came from. Yes, that is where we need to go. And yeah, we do not want to fall down here because we spent an eternity climbing back up. Oh dear. can hear something. Oh, so just... Oh, some... Just some phantoms. Okay. Let's see, how much do you give? Five. A reasonable amount, and you'll be slaying these things by the dozens. And yeah, that Ravenger enhancement gives us souls for breaking stuff. Nice. And now we are just a bit over halfway to death site. <laughs> I believe something is going to happen up here. Not exactly this exact point, but further up ahead that way. Nope. Not that, because these are just stupid little bats. Nope, that's a two. That's a three. Bat down! Bat down! Okay. Actually, because I'm feeling a bit... Just... Fuck off. Ah, and he has, we, we have another assurance. I caught it right. So I missed what the heck you did. Okay, another livestone shards. 
Ooh. Yeah, we'll want more yeah. health whenever we can get it. Because, yeah, this game can get pretty tough. And again, we are on easy. Yeah, this game kind of like Dark Souls before Dark Souls came. At least the closest to it they have. Oh uh, yes, him again. I don't think we can really fight him at the moment. Wait, he actually yeah. don't look like a garage head to green. Hmm. Yeah, the claws does it. And that and the... Can we actually... Shoulder horns. Can we actually fight him or can we jump this? I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oh, Lord of all helium. What are we going Luckily, to we do? only take a little bit of damage, and then we're back here, taking a lot more damage. Okay, double slice. And big slice. Oh, charge. Not only got one of each. Oh, it's a lot less than he has now. Damn it. Oh. Damn, I missed most of it due to lag. <laughs> okay, now we can continue again. It's... Here we are getting up to the time a bit, so I guess we won't be getting to the dungeon at this uh, in this stream. But we'll definitely get to it next time. And hello, shiny. And hello, less shiny. <laughs> Let's see. For these things, we need to find a key, I think. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know where the key is. Are you shift under the carpet? I don't think uh, hell has carpets. They they catch on fire too much and they stink whenever they are flat at light. Oh, hello. <laughs> Table for one. Consider yourself served. I was not expected to be able to pick up the freaking sofa. <laughs> Oop, gotta be a yeah, slow down my end. Oh, it seems like the Dennis Sanders fan club. Break the fucker in half. And there we go. Yeah, Beholder's key, an ornate key with the symbol of an eye engraved into it. Unlocks a nerve. Unlocks a nearby barrier. That's not a key. That's a bloody Qatar. A Qatar? An Indian uh, blade weapon that you hold uh, that has the blade in front of your hand. You have to have it behind Well, it works well enough as a key.
It's nothing. Some demon trick. I know what I saw. He's right. Uriel. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths, something lost between. Now it's time for a jury ride. On a damn Angelic man. Yeah. Let's see. Right trigger to shoot. Hold the tag enemies for homing shots. Oops. Yep, it's a sort of turret section. Yeah, we can move around. Why do they go turret on? sections are more stationary. Oh, bloody heck. Hey, sometimes I don't get to you. Why? Does the angel call their own soldiers as hell guard? Yeah, because they are well, supposed to guard the gates to hell and such to make sure they don't get out. True, I guess so. Normally, when the hell guard is used to the demon. I don't think we'll see this. Again after this, um, we may, but I have going by my memory again, of course, which is a uh, falling in of, of its own. And yeah, they take two of these charge shots to beat, and that's a big one. Okay, let's deal with that before they deal with us. This guy looks straight out of freaking Bayonetta. Yeah. Wow. I really think it's more under that Bayonetta 2 and recently a Bayonetta 3 has come out. I heard something akin to that. I, I do want to try those games sometime. Yeah, I have the first one. Yeah. Where did... No. Oh I'm yeah, now we're in. We can't oh, yeah. reach the place by force, so that's why we're hijacking a freaking angel. I want to bug oh, the Now we're double the trouble. We should just call it a Christian boy. That's what I mean, I got Christian. Yeah, they call it an ancient. Uh... I think the angel was called... Okay, we are movie. almost dead. Are we almost done with this? Wait, did we circle it back around and... Uh, that... That's a lot. And that's a lot of big boys as well. Tell me I can kill you quickly. Uh, they are going to charge at us. Okay, we did regain some health somewhere. Don't ask me where. Where? Checkpoints. And of course, that wasn't going to be the end of it. And that's a lot of bugs. Leave the element of alone, you stupid angels. Ow. Oh, uh, hello, big boy. Uh, you mind being a distraction for us? 
Now we've got fire bats. Well, I guess the best way to deal with them is to well, open fire. Yeah, this does not really work out, work that well with the control sticks. Nope. And here we are going to him with a handbasket. Yeah, in, not with. <laughs> uh, a handbasket wouldn't last long for your proper, <laughs> for your property in hell. Oh, and it's the big boy again. And he takes the way for us. Oh, and now he's coming back for us. Yeah, okay. Ow. He's, he's blocking us like a freaking chicken. Um. Oh, here. And there we go. He's dead. That is not going to be it. Come on, how much more of this? Because I'm pretty sure this is leading us to the dungeon. So maybe we will get to it. Hmm. And the heck is with all of that red stuff around War's arm on the griffin there? Oh, go. Oh. That's, that's the cloth of his outfit. He's just going crazy. I should move around more, even though it's going to throw up my aim even more. Bugs aren't so bad as long as you're not in their path. Come on. Thank you. Now, oh, yeah, the, the normal bats get health, so I might. I've probably been getting a lot of health from all of the bats that I've been blasting down. Oh, and there's <laughs> another one of those. And there's the cathedral. Oh. Teamat, I assume? Guess she wasn't up for having visitors today. Yes, she was up for chicken dinner. And yeah. I think this will be the best place to end this now. We are a tiny bit over time, but that's uh, that's no problem now that things are working correctly. And it seems like we haven't actually gotten that much more experience with the Chaos Eater. Hm. Okay. So, save our game. Always good for a game to have multiple save slots. And let's see where. Not there. Big ass quit button. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm glad that this this is running a lot better now. Yep. Because yeah, this is a, this is a cool game. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, so you've gotten a lot of notifications on somewhere on Discord. But, uh, yeah. Your thoughts so far? 
Other than on I the love... not failures. I love it. I have to go smoothly. Show and I'm lying. But uh, hopefully we fix once we have an upgrade up to that. Or when the storm yeah. comes down. <laughs> but otherwise, I love it. Uh, yeah, and like I said, we will be going with the franchise of this game as well. So after we're done with Darksiders, we won't immediately jump to Darksiders 2 because we'd burn ourselves out with too much of the same gameplay. So yeah, once we're done with Darksiders, we'll be doing another darkish, spooky-ish game because Drakir wanted me to do spooky games for October because Halloween and all of that. <laughs> Yeah, and I know you you don't uh, have the courage to play Five Nights at Freddy's on true horror games. It's more like everyone has seen everything those games has to add, though, or has to offer, the wrong word. Though I, I have to say I am curious about that new Security Breach game. Same. Um, if, it, if it does turn out to be as different from the previous ones as it's... Uh, no, hints to be. Yeah, so we won't see it until next year, probably. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Next time we ride out as war again. Uh, yeah. Anyone who has been watching now or later, thank you. And special thanks for you to care, as always. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Next time... <laughs> Until then, but as always, until then, be safe, folks!